Jesus. We scare down every stronghold. In the name of Jesus. We scare down every stronghold. In the name of Jesus. We scare down every stronghold. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Remember that's our battle cry tonight. In the name of Jesus we tear down every struggle. Can we say it together? In the name of Jesus we tear down every stronghold. Come on say it with some purpose again. In the name of Jesus we tear down every stronghold. One more time. In the name of Jesus we tear down every stronghold. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Melissa Blake Robinson. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Praise God. Profile for Reverend Paulette White. Reverend Paulette White hails from the parish of Clarendon. She accepted Jesus Christ as her personal Lord and Savior as a teenager and thereafter was filled with the Holy Ghost. She serves in her home church as the Sunday school superintendent, Sunday school teacher for the adult A class, local youth director and youth president, young women's ministry president, secretary treasurer. She is now the district overseer for the Brighton District of Churches and the pastors Brighton New Testament Church in the parish of St. Elizabeth. She is an anointed woman of God who operates in the prophetic ministry, declares, thus said God, and one who delivers the word with power and conviction. She is a graduate of the Bethel Bible College of Jamaica and the Caribbean and an ordained minister with the New Testament Church of God. Answering to the call, to the full-time ministry, she preaches in several congregations, such as New Testament Assembly, First Christian, Seventh-day Adventist, just to name a few. She has many spiritual sons and daughters and sisters and as her armor bearer. Her philosophy is to live the word according to Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20, to go he therefore and teach all nations, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever God has commanded. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I invite you to stand and put your hands together and welcome the woman of God, Reverend Colin White. may be seated everyone praise the name of Jesus greetings to you my brothers and sisters I want to greet the host pastor of this church in the person of 
Bishop Watson, and if Sister Watson is here, we want to greet you both in the name of Jesus. And uh, I don't want to get myself into any trouble, so let me quickly go through. I want to greet uh, uh, Reverend Kane with us from the Malvern Church, Reverend Blake Fourpath, Evangelist Grant International. <laughs> Praise God Almighty. We greet you. We want to greet the members from the various church. We want to greet Sister Montague who holds uh, the Woodlands Church. And she is doing well over there in Woodlands. Amen. We want to greet uh, those from the Black River Church. And I want to greet every single person in this house, the team that worked together to put on this great venture. Also, the pastoral council of this church, secretary treasurer, and every member of the Middle Quarters New Testament Church of God. I greet you well in Jesus' name. Amen. A few of my members are with me tonight as we come to honor God with all our heart. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Surrendering all the themes suggest to the glory of God. I struggle, my brothers and sisters, with this theme, not to prepare a sermon, but to struggle with it within my whole life. Amen, somebody. Surrendering all. And I question myself, Am I totally or absolutely surrendered to the Lord? Amen. And so tonight we are here just to look at the theme tonight. Surrendering all to the glory of God and not my will. <laughs> and I love, when the, I love when the church said this, you know, Bishop Grant, not my will, but thine be done. And if you understand it. Whenever you come to say not my will, you think again before you utter. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Because we love to use it, you know. But when it comes to the real deal, we tell the Lord otherwise. Amen, somebody. But tonight we are going to try and look at this little theme as we raise it up for 30 minutes, I was told. So I'm going to just look at the pointers and point out a few things to us tonight. From the book of Genesis chapter 39. And you wonder what a strange text for pastor to use. But when I am through with it, you will understand why I use this text. The Genesis 39 declare, and Joseph was brought down to Egypt and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, brought him into the hand of the Ishmaelite, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was prostrate a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Notice this word, his master. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And the Lord made all that he did prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace, that word favor, in the sight of, in his sight, and served him. And he made him overseer over all his house. And all that he had, he put in his hands. And it came to Pass from that time that he had made him overseer in his house and over all that he had that the Lord blessed the Egyptians house for Joseph's sake and the blessing 
of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Somebody give God a shout of praise. Somebody give him another shout. Somebody give him another shout of praise. Surrendering all to the glory of God. Not my will, but thine be done. My brothers and sisters, when we think about surrendering to the glory of God, we usually think in terms of letting God do what we want with a situation and pay keen attention tonight, my brothers and sisters. This is certainly good. For most often, God does use situation to bring us to surrender. However, if we limit surrender to our situation, we are liable of missing the point. God wants us to surrender a situation, but more than just this. God wants us to surrender ourselves. Yet, it is important for us to grasp the meaning of surrendering ourselves. For again, we often think this that this means, well, I will die to myself. I will put aside what I want in this thing. And I will allow God to do as he please. Again, it is good. But it, is sti it still isn't re the real issue. To surrender ourselves to God means this. We will let God do whatever is necessary to get him glory. To surrender ourselves, we will do whatever is necessary for God to get the glory. And whatever is necessary to make me into the person he wants me to be. Not into the person that I want to be. Somebody talk to me over here. Hallelujah. Oh glory. I hope my brothers and sisters, as we journey through this text tonight, in surrendering all to the glory of God, not our will, but is be done. We want to understand the difference that surrendering a situation to God is. What I'm talking about is more than surrendering a thing. What I am really expecting surrendering a thing to God and stand back and letting him work and so he go. It's a cooperate atti uh, attitude. So if we are going to surrender to God, we have to play our part Bishop Grant in the surrendering. Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. So we can say Lord, I surrender the situation to you and I step back. When we surrender it, we have to do all that is necessary to get ourselves surrendered completely to God. Amen, somebody. Praise God. Now, I am talking about surrendering ourselves to God. There is no standing back and there is no simple cooperation with God. Rather, the whole issue is my relationship with God. My whole self is falling into the hand of Almighty God. I, what 
God wants is that we completely surrender ourselves to him. What is being described here is not the surrendering of a situation during the time of circumstances. But hear what the writer said. I know it is the surrendering of the person. Aye. So it is not uh, the surrendering uh, and say, Lord, I and many of us, you know, when you get into situations, we say, Lord, I hand it over to you, you know. I mean, I'll take it out of your hand. God said, uh, That is good. You won't take it out of my hand. But most importantly, when you surrender yourself uh, into my hand, then I will do with you what I want to do so that the situation will be accomplished in your life. Amen, somebody. Oh, God, I soon preach to you. Oh, hallelujah. So God said, when you, the person, is surrendered completely, then the situation become more easy. Oh, hallelujah. And the longer you take to surrender church, the longer the situation take in your life. The longer we take to surrender to God, the longer we will stand and watch our situation crumble before us. Hear me, my brothers and sisters. If we do this, we are saying to God, Lord, now this is this complete surrendering that God is looking for church. God, when we say, God, I relinquish my right. Hallelujah. I give it up. So I relinquish my right to be what I think I ought to be. So you said, I'm giving up my right. No. How, come, how is it that you must have your right and give it up? It sounds strange, not you. It sounds impossible. Not true. It sounds like, you know, make no sense. Not true. But hear what the writer is saying. I give up my right because I think why what I want to be. And I fall into the into your hands so that you can make me be what you want me to be. Oh, hallelujah. This will result in the glory of God being displayed in your life. My brothers and sisters, we see in the passage an object left on here from Joseph. Oh, hallelujah. That the Lord Jesus teach us. For Joseph is said to be a type of Christ. Note, Joseph was a servant or let me put it in the days of the King James was a slave and I want to express to us who really is a slave oh hallelujah since we don't understand who really is a slave I'm going to raise it up to you you remember Sarah and Agar when Sarah could not uh, produce uh, uh, about eight Agar show up in the picture and Sarah and over Agar. You know why Sarah and over Agar? Because Sarah knew that Agar was her position. What do I mean? Agar was her slave. When they were coming up out of Egypt, Sarah brought Hagar. It means that when you buy a slave, that slave become your position. So you do with that slave whatever you wishes. Talk to me now somebody. So Joseph was now Potiphar's slave for Potiphar bought Joseph. Joseph had no choice in the matter but to do all that 
Potiphar commanded him. Uh, for what? Oh God, Joseph Wright was now surrendered into the hand of Potiphar. So Potiphar have every right to treat him, oh God, the way he wanted. And you say, no, 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 go so. Follow me, journey with me in the text. I signed to you, my brothers and sisters, just as uh, Joseph uh, surrender all uh, and give up. Uh, oh, watch this uh, surrendering rev. Uh, Joseph give up uh, his status uh, because uh, he was from Jacob tribe. He came from a tribe uh, and he was a Canaanite. Uh, now him surrender him right uh, to become an Egyptian. Uh, but in the house uh, of the Egyptian, uh, the young boy know that he must member God. Oh, glory to God. Somebody help me here. Oh, somebody help me here. So even though Joseph was patty for slave, but most of all, Joseph was a slave of Almighty God. He was God's servant. And so I want you to understand Joseph surrendered himself to Potiphar. Watch this church. There is no way in scripture that we learn that a man who comes to God before become a master before he become a slave. Read the whole Bible. And when you find it, you tell me. Every master you see, he was a slave first. Yeah. So Grant, when I was preparing this, I began to struggle with my with the messenger. And I said, when I go to the quarters, I know that they might not accept it. But I want to say it loud and clear tonight. That church of the living God, you relinquish your right from the moment you said to God, all to Jesus, I surrender all to him. I freely give worldly pleasure all for seeking. Tell me, Jesus, tell me. You surrender your right. So you now become a slave of Jesus Christ. You don't understand it. Now, if you never understand it, that's why Paul said, I am a debtor to Christ. Oh, somebody help me over here. Oh, somebody help me over here. Because the man surrender his right and now become a slave, a servant of the Lord. Watch this church. Evangelist Grant. Everywhere I go. And I talk with my colleagues and pastors. The first thing they tell you. We can't find workers in church. And they keep on. And it's, it's everywhere. We can't find workers. There is no workers. When I was preparing this text, I sum it up. And I said, you know why we can't find workers? It's because everybody want to be master. Yes. Yes. And nobody don't want to be slave. Yes. So when you call them, Bishop Grant, listen to me. If you have never heard this in church, everybody won't be master. Nobody won't be slave. But you must remember, you were called first as a slave to the Lord God. So you can't be master first before you follow him. We are surrender. He was a slave. And you say, Pastor, you hold a father. Me no hold a father. For Jesus Christ said, Me no come to serve because I'm a slave. Oh, somebody help me here. Oh, somebody help me here. So that is why. So when you talk to them, Pastor, you hear them and you call them uh, and start giving you this uh, uh, God job to do. Pastor, me can't manage it for me. I'm no slave. <laughs> me I'm no slave. I come to tell you, you are at the wrong place. 
don't you know who I am? So me I know your slave. You're at the wrong place. Ah, hey, brother, if you are the one who take the water for pastor when he's here, you are automatically a slave because you're working in the kingdom of Almighty God. That's what surrendering all it means. You don't have nothing for yourself, so you surrender everything into the hand of God. Oh God, can you imagine if all of us were playing our role as the servant of God? What kind of church we would have? We would have a power pack church. We would have a church fill up on the Holy Ghost. Lord God, Pastor, we are worried about Holy Ghost. Tell the people to surrender and become God's slave. Become God's servant. Then he will fill you up. You can't. Jesus Christ, talk to me now, Bishop. You can't want Holy Ghost. Oh God, and you are tell the man who are the distributor that you are not a slave. You better take it back and take go back again and we come again and say, Lord, Lord God, I never understand it, but now I surrender me right. I come back, Lord, for you to power me up for service. God, God cannot pour his, his holy anointing in a vessel that is not ready to serve. Oh, somebody help me. Somebody help me over here. So if you surrender, you're right. You're saying to God, use me for your glory and for your honor. My brother and sisters, Joseph surrendered his right when he was bought by Potiphar. Potiphar was now his master. But there is something I want you to understand. Though Potiphar was his political master and his civil master, Joseph said, I have a master that is greater than you political rivalries. I subject to you, but I am in more subjection to the Lord, my master who sent me over here. Joseph Rev was saying, I don't know God why you send me, but I surrender to you for your glory, for there must be a glory that must come out of my life in Egypt. Oh, somebody help me. Jesus Christ. Lord, the life of a servant. Jesus Christ is never easy. So hear me, church. So in light of the text, let me journey quick. There is uh, four little thoughts. Uh, I want to leave with you about the surrendered life. We talk about to the glory of God and not my will. When the life is fully surrendered, the glory show up. When the life church is fully surrendered, the glory automatically follow you. Bishop Grant you know why you can go everywhere and see uh, the word like this it's because your life is completely surrendered to God so everywhere you go the glory follow you oh somebody help me tell somebody beside you surrender now for the glory is about to pass over surrender now hear me now church the surrendered life oh god it's motive i want you to listen to me the surrendered life its motive is tied to christ the surrendered life motive is tied to christ what do you mean pastor there is something unusual about joseph my brothers and sisters here this about Joseph. Joseph, he walk, his walk was so 
humble before God. And when, when I reach down to the bottom, I can raise up some things, some pointers, and just move on. For you must determine tonight what kind of life you present before God. And so, Joseph walk humble. Our God, he served faithfully and lovingly with all. Oh God, he was successful. Potiphar began to look into the reason for this and conclude that God is with him. Why the boy is so humble? Why in, uh, in loving? Why he must serve with all the pressure that were put upon him? Why he must do this? Oh God, but if I look and say, man, it can't be nothing else. That is why church a surrendered life. When you get on the job, your boss must see the distinction. Talk to me no church. Jesus Christ. They, Joseph, the distinction was there in his surrendered life. It's motive. So the man not have no other motive but to serve as a slave. And he did it humble. Jesus Christ. Church, what is your motive for serving God? Is it for Hi, Lucas. Is it for people to see? Is it for people to talk about you and say you look good and you can't do this? No. Joseph said, I have to humble myself. Oh, God, for I am a slave. And anywhere, if I make an hell, I will be cast out. And what you must understand, in those days when a slave make an hell, then get whipping. Then get punishment. So me move on. Oh God, we will walk you through the text. So you hear me now. But if I look and say, man, God is with the man. It is a grand thing to have a man with whom God is in your business. Bishop Grant, that's why they call you. Because they say when you come in at the business place, when you lift up your hand and pray and come out, something happen. Man. Don't stay there, your thing says something happen. When you walk in to the business place when you go where they are and talk to them the word from you bring life that's what the bible said so Potiphar said it is a good thing that me buy the slave yeah for god is with him god in the man life i want god in my life my house can't be the same oh somebody help me so the motive is that God is with him. Oh, hallelujah. Hear me, no man. Oh, God. To entrust one business into the hand. Hear what the uh, God, the, the, the Egyptian but Potiphar said. The, he then realized this between the need of his own house. And he saw Joseph. He decided to make him overseer. Jesus Christ. The man looked and said, watch this now, Rev. When I look into the text now, I smile and I said, you came as a slave. Yes. You go into the house. You're not nobody because you're a stranger. And you go in, but in a few months, in your humble serving, everything was now handed over into your hand you now become a master in the house of Potiphar I want to take you a little further hear me no man church of the living God he became an overseer I ask you my brothers and sisters do you not see two motive plead most urgently that you should say I will make Jesus master over my being hence my brothers and sisters this surrendered life motive was Oh God, which is tied to Christ, uh, must display a Christ-like integrity. If we are going to surrender, we are must have a Christ-like uh, integrity. You can't uh, serve uh, as Christ.
my ass slave and not have integrity. You must have integrity. Integrity at church. Integrity at work. Integrity on the street. The surrendered life is Christ-like integrity. Jesus God. Pastor, no wonder where we are struggling. For every day we come and we say we surrender. But when we leave church, Christ knowing how we all surrendering God. We don't use the spur of the moment to surrender. But hear me, it's a life, the, the surrendered life that is tied to Christ. Is that of a Christ-like integrity? It must be a life, Lord God, that is completely possessed by God. Meaning this, that Christ is the living oh hallelujah hold his life through us and i see in another space when we surrender our rights to christ i want to understand my brothers and sisters a musician when he has his one instrument him taking anywhere go lord god and he use it however whenever he wishes wherever he wishes. I want to tell somebody when you are surrendered completely to God, Christ will use you wherever, however, whenever he wishes. So you can't surrender today and tomorrow you don't surrender. For we carry you good on a market, he will use you down there. But if you don't surrender, he can't use you. Oh, somebody help me. Jesus Christ. What is the motive? It is tied to Christ. And it is completely possessed by Christ. Jesus Christ. That's why Paul said, if any man be in Christ, it means that Christ possesses us. Christ possesses your being. So you are a slave. He is a new creature. All things are passed away. So if you hold things still today, you not know, truly surrender. That's why the glory can come. Rev, I keep hearing the church talking about Holy Ghost doing a church again. I tell you that's a lie. The Holy Ghost is the head of the church. Nothing wrong with the Holy Ghost. And the vessel is wrong with her. the vessel not surrender. Jesus Christ. Oh, somebody. So not, not wrong with the Holy Ghost. And the vessel. Oh, check out the vessel. Oh God, see if the vessel is possessed by Christ. Oh God, the surrendered life must display Christ like humility. Oh God, what this means that the servant, a servant, we must be, oh God, like Christ. Hear what Christ said. Oh, hallelujah. Though I was equal with God, I thought that and I know I was equal equal but i make myself as nothing before him so that i may win oh god almighty we can't win others if we not surrender completely to god we can't win others if christ no possess all of our being oh we can't win others you wonder bishop when we call others to go out to the evangelism, they tell you, Rev, not today. I know God ain't can go. But it tongue no surrender. God ain't can go. So the, the tongue no surrender. Because maybe you go go to the street. So we can't go. But the Bible said, we must display Christ-like humility. Do you know what Jesus said, Evangelist Grant? When he called the people to come to the water and to tell them that the 
water is satisfying. Hear what Jesus said, come, for I am meek and lonely. What did Jesus mean? Jesus said, me know nothing. The, the scribe and the Pharisees, they make themselves to be, them paint up, they look like, uh, they display all the attitude so everybody can know that they are scribes and they are Pharisees. But Jesus said, when you come, you are coming to a man who is nothing. For I am meek and lowly in heart. Oh, church of God, let it not be said of middle quarters. I want to go to middle quarters, but we don't see no Christ like integrity. I don't see no Christ like uh, positioning. I don't see Christ like humility. Let them say when I go over there, the Holy Ghost is in the house for the church is completely surrendered to God. The church, we must remember, pastors, we are servants. We are servants first. Oh, hallelujah. This uh, surrendered life is, uh, it must, uh, God, display loving and Christ like faithfulness. You wonder why people said to us, pastors, we no not tired. I'm not tired, we're not tired. But because of our loving faithfulness that is tied to Christ, when the call comes, evangelist grant, even when you are sick, you are going to get up and go forward. For you say, God, may your servant so fix you up. <laughs> you don't get it yet, church. You don't get it. So the, the surrendered life is not only a life that is tied to Christ, but the surrendered life is a life that is measured by Christ. So Christ measure our life. Tell your neighbor, say, careful, because Christ will measure you up. Christ measure our lives. We are being measured, oh God, when we surrender. But the second, oh God, is the measure. Look at the Joseph now. Look at the measure that was granted unto Joseph. We read in the fourth verse, all that Potiphar had, he put it into the hand of Joseph. When you completely surrender to God, then God said he can't trust evangelist Grant with the work of the ministry. You wonder why they call you so often. It's because of the surrendered life or oh, somebody you want to be called surrender to him surrender your life it is being measured by Christ so God measure it up and he determine whether he can use you or he can use you the mother got talk about pastor now see me the man upstairs and measure it. Amen. And Paul said, he gives just weight and balance. And he keeps the record. So watch this now. So when, when you think, he overlook and pass to no see, you measure in pan. God and measure it. Yeah. Hey God. I, Joseph, by Brothers and sisters was measured by Patifa. How do I know that uh, even though he was not there when Patifa wife uh, make her move, Joseph said, I am only a slave, but most of all, I cannot do this wicked thing and sin against my God. The surrendered life that is measured by Christ, it will take you into deep waters, but when it is measured, God will take you out you don't have to worry for you are in his hands Jesus Christ Bishop the boy could have said 
my family, they know don't you? They sell me out. Me in a strange country. So me can't leave it up. Jesus Christ, you know, understand it. Lord God, church, when you got foreign, you're a Christian. When you leave St. Elizabeth and got Kingston, you're a Christian. Because God is measuring your life. Lord God, when you leave your home community, nobody go talk about me. I got sent here, and nobody now see. God, I see you, and He may measure your work. Oh, hallelujah! And you tell me, Pastor, that's not true. The Bible said God measure every man work by fire. Oh, somebody help me here. Ah, oh, God, and Bishop, if the fire when it burn, some of us work are going to burn out to ashes. But God help us. That we can return to the Lord and surrender ourselves. So the Bible said, because Joseph surrender all into God's hand, first of all, and then to Potiphar. God said, Potiphar, if you touch him, you have to talk to me. At God church, when you're on the job, you must remember you first and Remember to God, and if the devil is boss that you have taught you, he must be answer to God. Lord, this is what the Bible said. Potiphar, look at Joseph and say, No, something peculiar. I have had other slave. And when me see now this Hebrew boy, me not see it now the other slave. So hear me, it is measured by Christ. Here, when Potiphar was through measuring Joseph's work, our God Potiphar said, come here son, Lord God, you are just worthy. Church, can God trust you to leave an office in your hand? Are you fully surrender that when God put it, a office in your hand, the office not fall through and you come and blame the other workers or the other board members? Check out if your life has been completely surrendered by Christ. Maybe quarters don't sit by and watch and say, Boy, we can't, but step up to the plate and like Joseph and say God you first call me so the surrendered life is tied to him it is said that when Potiphar look at Joseph he said no that God is with you I can hand over everything watch this church when you go home read back the text the Bible said that Potiphar hand over in bank account. Potiphar hand over in business card. Potiphar hand over in house. Everything except his wife. And he said, all Potiphar knew was to come sit around the table. The very food that Potiphar eat was in the hand of Joseph. The very food. Can I talk to the church? What can God trust us with? Can he trust us with his bank account? Talk to me no man. Can he trust us with his tithes? <laughs> Lord God. You know, you know, remember when you talk about surrendering all. God said you must surrender your one tent. Pastor, Hallelujah. pastors, you don't worry. Let me tell this church in middle quarters. And don't worry, I'm going back to Brian. And I'm going to tell them too. Lord God, hear me now. I'm going to pause here so and talk about surrender. Can you not surrender your one tent to God? A journey through pastorate. When I was in St. Mary, one lady said, Not true, no tight to pastor. Get it out of me. Oh God, Lord God, pastor. That same here. God transform me. So she says she carry her tithes go a bank. She
she bank her tides as soon as my foot lift up out of St. Mary where she bank her tides she sent her grandson with her card to go draw money and put her pin number in the card and the boy go draw the money and last the card and with the pin oh God when she found out all of the tides draw out Surrendering all. Surrendering all. So God sent somebody go take it. For you not surrender it to him. He makes somebody else get it. You don't trust him. Oh Jesus Christ. Bishop are talking about surrendering all over here. Oh God. And we come and we jump and we shout. We skip and we dance. But we know so we are rock God almighty. Oh God, yet we sing hard to Jesus. You know, you know, stop there, Bishop. So me go over center now. And me go a center. And God, I watch them. Lord God, I have two deacons. Lord God, they don't believe in a tithe. And they come and they give the liquor. So one day, God Almighty, Lord God, Bishop, I don't know if you guys are stupid like me, but our God told me, take up the offering basket that morning. I grab the offering basket and I lift it up to God. I prayed from Joel 2 and I said God, those who paid in full, increase their field, remove the locust, remove the caterpillar, remove the canker worm, remove the palm worm, but those who do not pay in full, send the caterpillar, send the palm worm, send the canker worm. Oh God, I mean, let me right there, so put on me offering and come out. That was Sunday. Tuesday morning, I went back to fasting. I saw one of the deacon. The two of them. Let me talk to your church. If you partner with God, you'll never lose. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. If you surrender everything to God, you can't lose. So when I go back to fasting, the Tuesday, wherever, I said to the deacon, deacon, everything all right. No pastor. What wrong now? Pastor, when me come at church, me see the Rami to you know, for when me go up. A nice size Rami. That Rami reached 60,000. Lord God, the man in a tears. Pastor, me tie the Rami a roadside. And when me go back, me can't find him, then gone with him. He say, your tides. Ay, somebody help me over here. Oh God. Another one come to me. Pastor, me plant me grown. With the whole of me, I'm somebody go dig you out. Me say, your tides. Hey, somebody help me over here. Can I talk to St. Elizabeth? Can I talk to me the quarters? When you rock God, God with dry hand. Oh. Bishop, those who call me will not call me back. For maybe there are some that is not, but I have to talk to them. I remember ever when I went back to the church, I said to them again, God said He have a blessing for somebody, but you have to come clean and pay up, pay up for your surrender, but you're not pay up. Lord God Almighty, there was a sister there. Oh God, God move me but let me talk for me I help somebody in over middle quarters so when I went and I said God said one well, bless the church but the church must come clean who know a shot pay him and so there was one little sister there she was working at a law firm and she was a bearer so everybody know who's a bearer at a law firm and so Bishop when I finished preach, she cried. And she went to him. She said, God, me I put you to the test. Pastor preach and say, Lord God, if you come clean, that sister will never put more than $200 in the ties, no matter how much she work. $200. But when I preached that Sunday morning, 
She went to him with tears. And she get up. Rev. And she began to pay in full. You know what God did? God gave that woman three promotion in one year. As soon as she start paying full promotion on top. She moved from from Bira right to paralegal secretary. Oh God, three promotion in one year. He never stopped there. And with the three promotion, three increase of pay. God know who are you not now. We who are him. So pay up, pay up. You are surrender all. Surrender your pay to Jesus God. Bishop, I read about surrendering all. When God said to Abraham, Abraham, I'm going to bless you. And I will bless those who bless you. And curse those who curse you. And we think and understand. I come to clear up your understanding. And go a little further and close. But Bishop, what it means, God was saying to Abraham, those who neglect you and make light of my word, I will put a curse upon them. Bishop, you wonder why you pray for some people and them can't get healing. They neglect and take light of what you say from God's word. Be careful, church, of how light you Take the word of Almighty God. And so that doesn't stop the rev. You know, the same year, the woman get the three promotion. She come to me one day and say, Pastor, me I got England. And from that day until today, she don't come to Jamaica, spend six months and gone back the other six months straight to England. Surrendering all to the glory of God. So when you are surrender, you must surrender your tithes. You must surrender your body. You must surrender everything to the glory of God. And when surrender to the glory of God, when you are going to feel it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hear what David said, Bishop. I will not give to the Lord that which cost me nothing. When I give to God, I must feel. He got him must a hat up my heart. That is why many persons with hold and tithes because it's a hat up their heart. If I look too much, but you must remember when he hat up your heart, God has got to cause you. Hallelujah. I come a little closer and I continue. Just scan the other two and give you and go sit down. Since I came to St. Elizabeth. When I came here, I hear everybody crying. February, no rain. I went to fast and I lift up my eyes to God. And I said, God, remember that this is a farming community. This is where you send me. And this is what I rely on for my bread. Send the people rain and make their crop increase. Jesus, God, green start, non-stop. One brother, I will not call any name, I will get into trouble. One brother, he said he plant tomato. And that crop, when everybody crop finish, a five crop he reap out of it. What me say? Five. God bless him. But the brother lift up his mouth and go say, me not give God nothing for, if me give him, I go make me become papa. Jesus Christ. Me, 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 I talk because I want to help somebody. Yes. And, 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 and today, Rev, if God dry up the field, he must struggle. Lord God, when he plant the crop, by the time the price go up and he reach to feed him, once he start to eat the crop, the price drop down. We are talking about surrendering all. Oh God, oh God, I want to help the church. Church, when we express that we surrender all, when we surrender all, it is not for our pleasure, it is for God's pleasure. So I want 
pledge of God, it means that him take delight and glory when we surrender all. Notice, Potiphar surrender all to Joseph. And the Bible said, Potiphar whole start to prosper because God is with Joseph and the favor of God is with Joseph. Members, as children of God, wherever you go, when you put your feet on a dry ground, the favor of God must be with you that it transform the world, please. Yes. Jesus, thank you for the text, Bishop. The Bible said, Jesus Christ, the righteous, when he's fully surrender, is like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. Hear what the Bible said? You bring fruit in your seas, whatsoever you do shall prosper. Our God Almighty, the Bible said, from Joseph foot, step into Potiphar's house. Potiphar's house start to increase. Potiphar's house start to prosper. Everything but Potiphar's house transform. Why? Watch this. You think is only the physical beauty that was on Joseph why Potiphar's wife want him? No. 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 It is the will of God and the glory of God that was on Joseph. Oh, oh God Almighty. So when Potiphar's wife look at Joseph, him see one beauty we never see, she never see before. And he said, no man, the man you look good and so she go after him hear me not church of god when the devil look at you the devil must know that god is with you and his mouth must run water lord god for god is with you the bible said joseph work in Potiphar's house. I want God, God. The surrendered life is a life that uh, its blessedness is in Christ. So no bliss no in my world. And some people tell you about me, I bring and thing. Take back that. Rev. Oh God, are you lucky? Rev, a few weeks, months ago in last year, I went to Bronte and I preached and a lady surrendered her life to the Lord. We had a united fasting in Brighton and the lady come a few weeks after, you know. And me I say, I drive up to the pastor and I say, who is that lady? The pastor looked at me and said, Rev, talk to me. And the same lady were baptized two nights ago. Me said, no, sir. The glory of God sit down by the woman. So me walk up to her and say, woman, you look like a Chris Dallabil. Lord God Almighty. You don't understand church. Oh God, you want blessedness. Come to the Lord. You want when you surrender to Christ. The blessedness of God must be tied to you. But God, hear what the writer said. Oh God, they look at the blessing of the entire surrendered life. You have a remarkable word. And it is in the past of Potiphar, oh God, Potiphar's made to Joseph, overseer, it means that Potiphar give up all, Potiphar no hold but nothing, Potiphar surrender everything into the hand of Joseph, Joseph a little slave boy, he no understand the Egyptian language, but God taught him it and Joseph now become the overseer that he may instruct other slaves. Let me go a little further to tell you. So Potiphar now start to serve in Pharaoh's house. Watch this. In the ancient world, Pharaoh at the time was Lord. How he become Lord? He takes on Potiphar who was the king. And Joseph now become the overseer. Joseph was also king in Potiphar's house. Potiphar was now Joseph's lord. Oh. 
And you wonder where we get King of Kings and Lord of Lords? Let me tell you where we get it from. Ah, Pharaoh now become Joseph Lord. And Potiphar become now Joseph Pharaoh's servant, the king. Watch this. When we look at Jesus' life, the Bible tells us that Jesus is the all king of all kings of the earth so that's where we get king of kings and lord of all lords hear what uh, paul said yes there is also other lords but we have one lord and is jesus christ so yes uh, when we crown him we crown him king of Pharaoh. we crown him king of Potiphar. we crown him lord of all lords oh god almighty we crown him lord of herod we crown him lord of skyphas we That's a surrendered life, Bishop. That we crown him King of Kings. We crown him Lord of all Lords. So there is no Lord and hurt that is above all of Christ Jesus. Jesus God. So that's why the blessedness is in Christ. What's the blessedness? Rev. Paul, look at the blessedness. And Paul said, we are seated in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. That's where the blessedness, let me tell you a little more, that of the blessedness that is in Christ, the blessedness that is in Christ, Lord God, he said, in that commit unto me I will in no wise cast out but hear him never stop there the blessedness that is in him he said those who come I give you power to be called the sons and daughters of Christ can I talk to you the surrendered life is a life of honor in the presence of God the surrendered life is a prosperous life the surrendered life oh hallelujah God is a life oh God that is filled with the beauty and glory of almighty God Jesus Christ. Bishop, talk to me, no man. The surrendered life. Jesus, I tell my church, I said we allow the world to use the Bible more fluently and affluent and more relevant than us. Though they use it in the wrong way. But when a raster man see a woman, he say, you are royal. Lord God Almighty. But Jesus Christ, I tell we say we are royal and we take a light. And Bishop, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And if if you go to one of them and say, I royal, they say, move, I want you want me. I don't want you want me. He's addressing you rightly. For the Bible said, no, you're not that you are a holy nation. You are royal. You're peculiar. You're different. That's the blessedness of the surrendered life, the life that is surrendered in Christ, carry a glory that feared it not away. That what Paul said. Paul said, if this earth that man not to be dissolved, the blessed life of this, the blessedness of the surrendered life of a building not made with hands. Can I talk to you, somebody? Jesus Christ. Church, the surrendered life is not today me surrender and tomorrow me step back. The surrendered life is hand over to God for his glory and of your use. Oh, hallelujah. The surrendered life. Hear what Paul said and I'm closing here. 
the duration of the surrendered life. The surrendered life. There's a duration, no. Jesus said, the surrendered life is unto death. Jesus Christ. What do you mean, pastor? Unto death. So hear me, no man. When Joseph went to Potiphar's house and Potiphar's wife lied on him. He was cast into prison to die. But God said, man, you are surrendered. So I'm going to send you and increase me glory. I increase me glory in wisdom and knowledge and take him out of prison. But watch this church. Look at the surrendered life of Christ. Can I Fast. Oh, hallelujah. Step up uh, the high priest, uh, our God, uh, and he step up uh, to destroy Jesus uh, by saying he claim uh, that he's the king uh, of the Jews. Uh, but the Bible said, uh, even in the railing accusation, uh, Jesus did not open his mouth. Uh, he said, like a sheep uh, unto the seer of his dumb. Uh, it's a surrender that life that in the sin on her that even in the hand of death the man surrender but there was a joy we are down in his being watch this the surrendered life when they drive the nail in his hand watch the surrendered life of Jesus Watch the surrendered life, church. Jesus step up to the cross. They plant the thorns and they do everything. And Jesus look up and say, Father, the cup heavy, the cup more than me. But when he look at death, that death, oh, hallelujah. He said, Father, if it is possible, let this go pass, but nevertheless, the cup that I am bearing is not my will, but yours be done. Jesus surrendered the duration up to death, but on Sunday morning, the Bible said this. See him surrendered life. Oh God got up triumphantly from the grave. That is why Bishop, we know that you can live out the duration. That is why I know you can fully surrender. Oh Jesus, somebody help me no man. That is why I know you can see the cause of the resurrected power and glory. Jesus Christ. Oh, Bishop, the surrendered life, it conquers death. That's why Paul said to them, oh God, what shall separate me from the love of God? For the surrendered life become champion. Paul said, our church, a surrendered life in Christ is more than conqueror. Bishop, Paul continued and said, when Moses, talking about the surrendered life, when Moses surrendered the animal to die, the death of that animal passed and we have to come back again. But Paul looked at it and said, those of us who surrender our life in Christ, the glory does not depart for Christ take us. Go read in the book of Corinthians. I think first Corinthians, he said, he take us from glory to glory. Oh, 
pastor, me not to preach the second part, you know. This, only you have to preach the surrendered life. But the surrendered life take you to the glory. And the surrendered life, you have become submissive to his will. That's what the surrendered life is. Oh, hallelujah. Hear me. I was sharing with my brother a few days ago. And I said to him, Bishop, let us start preach the scriptures as the God pointed to us. I said, the boys went to Jesus and I'm closing right here. And said, Master, we are asking you to teach us to pray. Jesus said, come. I have a model prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, acknowledge the man and your daddy. Give acknowledgement. And that is why when we ask, we fail to receive for we don't acknowledge. Who art in heaven? Hallowed be thy name. The part I want to get. Thy! Thy will be done. You ask me, Pastor, what is the kingdom of God? The will of God. Pastor, what is the will of God? The kingdom of God. That is simply it. The will of God is the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is to do his will. It is the will of God. Thy kingdom come. Watch this, no man. Watch this, no bishop. When I look at the text, I say, my brother, so often we preach this text and we miss it. What the what Jesus was saying, when we pray, we must say, Father, the will, your will, that you have for me in heaven, fulfill it on earth. So now read the text wrong. It must be fulfilled on earth. It must be fulfilled. So, not Bishop, you're preaching. Thank you. So, the will of God for you must fulfill here. So, I said, my brother, that is why we are in so much trouble. Because we are not seeing the will of God being fulfilled in our life on earth. And then I go a little further. Give us this day our daily bread. <laughs> a daily bread, you ask for you. Give us this day. So God supply daily needs, not daily wants. Our daily bread. Our daily bread, your daily bread can be a house. Your daily bread can be a car. Your daily bread can be anything. So if you ask for daily bread and you don't give you one loaf today, we are complaining for you. Go ask for your daily bread. How will you get you have to take? I will you get. You see how we grumble and complain and fall out of the will. It's what you ask for for the day. Your daily bread. And we watch this. Uh, and he said, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive. Condition, you know. Those who trespass against us. God know that trespass all will go happen. Forgive them. And then he said, and lead us not. Close me, close. Watch this, Bishop. Look at what we overlook. When you get the daily bread, God might just say, Bishop, I need, I need you to get a new car. Or I'm going to move you from a car since you are doing international service. But I'm going to give you a private jet. When the private jet come, now tell God, say, you can't go preach again. In gear, you go fly, if you go preach. So lead us not into temptation. You know, tell him, see, a vacation time. He said, God, lead me not. So when the jet come, no make me carry it on the wrong path. Lead us not. Jesus Christ, Bishop, you want a private jet, not you? Dear God, when everybody miss you, a man in your dear America, oh God, God send him a private jet for his living in your will. Almighty God, hallelujah, lead us not into them, but deliver us from evil for thine. The kingdom are not for you, the kingdom is not mine, for thine. Is the kingdom the power that means uh, 
We surrender everything already. So the kingdom, the power, and the glory now belong to him. And hear what the man said. Forever. The duration is forever. So you can always go to the kingdom. And live in it forever. Because it never ceases. The surrendered life, church of God. Is a life that is laid down. For in service for your fellow men. And all that, all that, all that come about. Paul said, I beseech you. Make your quarters. By the mercies of God. That you lay down your life. As a living sacrifice. Holy. This is the theme text. Joseph. Potiphar. Lay down. In life. Because when you give a man your bank account. Your, your money. And your life you give him. Everything you give him everything. And Jesus said. Joseph you don't go with nothing. But me give you everything. Bible said. Potiphar surrender all. Jesus Christ. God is saying. When you give up all. For me. Then I will pour my glory into you. You want the glory of God come back in a middle quarters in the full blown glory. Stand up with me church. The full glory is surrender. Everything. Give up tonight. Give up everything. Give up your will. Give up your life. Give up. Put it in him. Look at Bishop. No man surrender everything to God and lose your year. Never. All to Jesus. I come, Bishop Watson. To him my freely. I will ever. I will ever love and trust in I 
song withholding nothing i'm giving up everything i'm not withholding anything at all i'm giving up everything now god for your glory hallelujah i surrender all to you come bishop everything I give to you with holy nothing, with holy nothing, I surrender all, I surrender all to you, everything I give, everything I give to you.
the name of the Lord. Somebody praise God. This moment. This sermon or this message comes to all of us. Saved and unsaved. And there are persons among us tonight that the devil would allow you to know that you cannot make it. Makes no use you try. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. After Samson failed the Lord miserably, he prayed and asked for one more chance. Strengthen me once again, Lord. Give me one more chance so I can avenge my enemies. God is a God of a second chance. Every person here tonight and you're not saved maybe you're a backslider you need to be in this altar surrendering to God hallelujah 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 Jesus lay it all at his feet lay it all at his feet Surrender. Hallelujah. All that you're struggling with, if you surrender. If you surrender. Preacher. Preacher. When the, when the whale swallowed Jonah. When the whale swallowed up Jonah. He described the experiences as being hellish. But let me say that hell kept him for a period of time until he surrendered. When he surrendered, hell vomited him out. Tonight, if you will surrender, that hellish experience will come to a close. Because you are now ready to fulfill God's will. Jesus, we are getting fixed to pray. But I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting on somebody else. To join us on the altar. Holding nothing.
Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. We told in 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 nothing. Hallelujah. We told it nothing. 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 I see nothing. We told it nothing. I surrender all. I surrender all. You're in the everything. You're in the heart. To you. I'm with all. We told it nothing. We told it nothing. We told it nothing. We hold it nothing. We hold it nothing. Yes, God. We hold it nothing. We hold it nothing. We hold it nothing. away. Hallelujah! A new chapter of God's plan for your life has now come. Maybe you have something to say to God. Maybe you have something to say to the Lord. Hallelujah! Maybe you have something to say to Jehovah God. Take my life and let it be. 
consecrated Lord to thee. Jesus. Jesus. Lay yourself before the Lord and let him surgically remove what is to be removed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Heavenly Father Heavenly Father we we give you thanks for this moment we thank you for the word we thank you for your servant who took the time to study your word to pray and to impart your word Jesus our hearts burn in, within us so we lift up all our selfish ways we surrender to you all our shots comings all our human weaknesses all our filthy desire we surrender our sinful nature that which keep warring against the spirit and they're having a conflict and we have caught in the middle of the conflict tonight lord we surrender our will our emotions tonight god deep in our hearts we meant well but we are plagued with weaknesses and human failures we have tried oh God times and times again but we still fail tonight we have come to the master potter Lord God, you ask Israel, can I do to you as they spotted did to the clay? Because he saw impurity as the vessel was marred and he break it, melt it, and mold it into the vessel that please him we surrender like the clay in the hand of the potter we surrender to your will like you surrender to the father we surrender to your will like Abraham surrender Isaac to you though precious and dear he was to him yet he was willing to surrender him to your lordship David surrendered by dancing before the ark Lord until his garment fell off jesus son of david have mercy upon us we don't deserve 
a second chance. But we ask you to have mercy. Now we lay the things down at the altar. We lay them at your feet, God. And refuse to take them up again. From this day forward, we ask in the name of Jesus that there will be a total surrender to your Lordship and your Majesty. And so we give you all. And we say like the writer of the song, all to Jesus, I surrender. We pray for those who have not yet surrendered. Those that are backslidden, those that have never been saved. Oh God, tonight. Let there be a surrender before the worst come. Oh God, whatever they have to give up, let them give it up. Like Paul said, all the excellence of my knowledge, I count them dumb that I might gain Christ. That I might know him and the power of his resurrection. And so we give you thanks tonight. And so even after we leave. Great God let this conviction be upon our hearts. And when we are faced with challenges that seem enticing. And, and Lord we will maintain our integrity. So have your own way throughout the rest of this program and save the lost tonight and reclaim the backsliders in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to be asking that every believer go back to your seat. And those that are not saved will remain on the altar. You are not a Christian, remain. You are not a Christian, remain. You are not a Christian, remain on the altar. Please come back, come back. Come right here, please. Jesus. Jesus. There are persons here that you know that you're not saved. I want to pray with you right now. You know you're not saved. Make it to the altar. I said if you're not saved. I said if you're not saved. This is your moment. And when God is moving, move with him. <laughs> Look what God is doing and get in line. This is the moment of salvation. The enemy is trying to confuse your mind. But the Bible said the righteous fall and rise seven times. Jesus. Would you give it one more? Would you give it one more chance? One more chance. Would you give it one more chance? Jesus. Reverend. How can the persons who how long will the design and to, to opinions? engineer aeroplanes and motor vehicles and all these I technologies. Have I have called me to come into my presence. I have called me. I have called me to come into my presence. Why linger? Why linger? 
Kisorovo Umbo. How many times must I speak to you? How many times must I call you? How many times? Adabatanda tas yorobo o landa kasite me ende lobo udo. I have taken you. Ah, kosono mo umba sharaba to yonder and beyond. But yet still thou wilt not recognize me. I am thy God. I have called thee. I have called thee. I have called thee. Why halt? <laughs> Why halt? <laughs> Why halt? <laughs> Why halt? You between two opinions. I am God. I am God. I am God. I am God. Thus say God. Hallelujah. Ha, ha. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. The Lord has spoken. Let the church say amen. Jesus. I was saying that the persons who engineer all these equipment didn't get it right when they start. They fail, they fail, they fail until they get it right. Amen. Amen. I make another plea. Whatever you are holding on to, do an assessment of whatever you're holding on to. And what God, what God, listen. Will God be pleased with what I'm holding on to? Jesus. Is there one more person? Is there one more person? Can I get some of the workers to minister to these persons? Can I get some of the workers to minister to these persons? Jesus, somebody help me. The church is in a traveling position. She's, she's about to give birth. She's about to give birth. She's about to give birth under God. She's about to give birth. Somebody bless God. I said the church is in a traveling mood. Alabako sindaleba shandalabako shedi andai masakra babahudia. Alleluia! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Somebody bless God. Don't get curious, church of God. Don't get curious. Just worship the Lord. Just praise Jehovah. Just praise Jehovah God. Alleluia! Jesus. 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 Break up your folly ground. So no more among stars. Break up your folly ground. And so no more among thorns. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. This. Jesus. 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 Let the Holy Spirit have his way. Let the Lord God have his way. Jesus, 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 I stretch my hands and you don't regard me. I have called you 
and you don't answer. You set at naught all my counsels. You disregard all my invitation. God said, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock you in the day of your fear. When fear shall come upon you like a woman in travail and you cannot escape it. Then shall you call me and I will not answer you. You shall seek me. And he shall not find me. One more chance. Every rebuke from God is an extension of his mercy. I repeat, I say, every time God speak a word of rebuke or send a word of caution, is that he has interest in you and don't want you to face the judgment. Bow your head on the altar and invite Jesus Christ in your life. I'm not asking you to say a prayer. I'm asking you, while you're praying, make it up in your mind that you're going to surrender to the Lord. And so it's prayer time again. Lord, God Almighty, who lives and reigns forever. I come to you again on behalf of these souls on the altar. It's late in the night, but they are still here. Because you want to give them another chance. And so tonight, Lord, touch them with your hands. Wash them and cleanse them. Cause them to make that surrender. Give him up all for their soul's sake. And for the glory of God. Break their stubborn will. And silent the mouth of the devil. Oh God. Oh God. There's a war going on in the mind. There's a serious conflict going on. As the enemy says to them. We don't know. You don't know how you're going to make it. But God. When a life is surrendered. You will turn over the blessing. And so save them now. Wash them in your blood. Give them new meaning to life. Oh God. Let your conviction come so forceful that they cannot resist it. But they will yield all to your voice and to your words. And so I thank you for saving. I thank you for cleansing. I thank you for washing. Bring that conscience alive to the conviction of God. And give no peace, give no rest until they surrender. Whatever you have to take, take it away, Lord. Whatever stands between you and them, take it away. So that you alone can be Lord of their lives. Bless them now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
in Jesus name in Jesus name I want you to look at me before I give up this mic thank you musician I want you to look at me everybody look at me I am privileged to go across Jamaica I'm privileged to go across the Caribbean other first world countries I've been engaged in evangelism for some 40 plus years I have watched people play with their soul and lose it I said, I watch people play with them soul and lose it. I watch people stand on the altar and walk away and die in their sins, not surrendering to God. Ladies, ladies, ladies. If you are living with somebody and you know give them an ultimatum, they will treat you just as you are. If you me cast you, you live with somebody and you don't want to marry them and you still live with them. Me see how you live with somebody and they don't want to marry you and you still live with them. There's a couple right in middle quarters here planning to get married. Start to attend this church. And I ask them to get saved first. I say get saved first before the marriage. No man, we have fixed up the marriage. I say get saved before the marriage. After we get married. You know, say the woman they do before the marriage. And she not see it. There is a crafty devil that hates you and pretend to love you. I said there's a crafty devil. And Maybe, maybe I didn't get trapped because I didn't get trapped. We didn't get trapped, so they are saying we don't know. But Sister Cain, if you if you were living with Brother Cain and the children reaches her age, you can easily well gone for you now. Don't pick me again to be looking about. But as long as you sit in that position. God, can I help you? And the devil have no interest in God helping you. I could talk to the person, but I'm talking broad. You have watched many die around you. I have spoken to you times and times again. My spirit doesn't strive with men always, seeing that he's flesh. God have a time to stop calling. God have a time to stop speaking. And if nothing else happened here tonight, Make sure you surrender your life to Jesus. And I urge young ladies that are going to school to pay attention to your education. Get a career and become independent so that nobody can hold you in captivity.
Young man, time to surrender. If you let this feeling pass, you go right back in the old slot. Let Brother Grant say this and close. And you find yourself in hell. If you're not saved, you will not be able to come out. You live in regret throughout eternity. And when they wheel you in here in a, in a half a million dollar casket, all decorated with flowers and sing the prodigal return to his home once more. And they talk how Sharon was nice. She was industrious. And they talk about And the MP will come and say, oh, she'll love our party. And they read the eulogy. And they said, may her soul rest in peace and life perpetual shine upon her. When they say, well, Miga was nice, but she will tell you off. And you know. And those around you know that your soul not resting in peace and light perpetual not shining on you. And it grieved Bishop Watson's heart. Our brother Cleon. To commit your body to the ground. Wish. We wish. Oh God.
14 women went to walk with you, went to woman here. One by one, the Lord will walk on. Because the women said, we realize we're just going to. But we lay out to in a broad the next day. Some of them in our community. But those 14 women, I can show the one and I can like them. And the man will be a church. All 14 women are saved. Some end up subsequent to time in the first century of the world. There are two bottles of the time that we live in this life. The future and the future. That those two worry. Fighting conversion and growth. God bless you. They are asking you to make a total decision. It will show up with your attention to the man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us worship the Lord. Lift up the name of Jesus. If you have been blessed, give the Lord a shout of praise. Shout hallelujah. 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 We are not through. We are going to collect the offering. Praise the And we have one more thing to do. And then we will go. Praise Steve. Hallelujah. Somebody lost some money earlier. I don't know how the person left. Um, if you lose some money, you can tell how much. I'm giving it to Sister Carvalho. We're asking two ushers to come. Hallelujah. I need not say more about you giving your offering. The word was already preached. Hallelujah. A thousand generations falling down in worship to sing the song of it to the Lord. Praise Sing the song of 
pages to the land. And all who've gone before us, and all who will believe, sing the song of pages to the land. We'll sing the song of pages to the land. Sister Opal, come my auntie. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. I know you want to go, but God must be glorified in here tonight. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Somebody shout a hallelujah. 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 I turn around, my auntie, may I talk because of my auntie. And she going to talk for herself tonight. Last year, moment in his presence 
V, Thursday night, my auntie was diagnosed with stage four cervical cancer. Oh God, oh God. She wrote a prior request in moment in his presence and give one of her daughter to put in the prior request. And the child opened it and read it. And when she read it, she went and she had her bigger brother and her bigger sister on a three-way call and they started to cry. They started to cry and I got a call from one of them. Say, I must go and find her. She's somewhere on the compound crying because of what she heard about her mother. And you know, I went and I get her and I came back inside. And you know, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Many of you were here and you were probably wondering what was happening. And we walked around the place and we come to the altar and we believe that God, Sister Carol, prophesy. Anybody remember what Sister Amen. Carol was shouting? Anybody remember what she was shouting? She was shouting chapter close. That is what Ande Kotondolobo shaking the Libya high. Chapter close. Chapter close. And if the enemy never hear it, last year he's come on, people. I want you to stretch your hand and say, Chapter close. Chapter close. Chapter close. Chapter close. I'm going to allow her to give her testimony. She's shy. But I remember one at a time when she went to Kingston. To, to, to do her treatment and a lot of time the, 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 the doctors were puzzled she said that she heard the nurse and the doctor whispering that me not understand she should be sicker than this with the stage that the cancer is she should not look the way she look she not supposed Jesus. to have somebody worship God yes. no man somebody glorify God hallelujah. no hallelujah hallelujah it is the prayer of the saints. And he said that God is still in the healing business. Hallelujah. Say something for yourself. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord. The Lord. God has been good to me. I can't complain. It's good. I can tell you that. Well, I've been through a lot. But God has been good. Yes. Well, um, I've, um, um, the, the cancer, I, I've just finished radiation, I, um, radiotherapy. I did 25 um, sessions in Kingston and it went well. Um, I only have um, next week, um, the, the, 18th, the 18th to go back to do some checkup. So they're going to send me now to do some more tests to see what's going on. Yeah, God is good. Because Chapter close. I was in Kingston and there's a, um, people who have stage 3 or 2 and they were much sicker than me. They were on bed, they couldn't move. They were crying. They were... I, I would have to help some of them. I wasn't okay. sick. I was I just stay in the hospital because I didn't have anybody in Kingston to stay, to stay with. And then I come home and, and I, I, I do the session from Mondays to Friday, Monday to Friday. And then I come home on the weekend because I can move around. So yeah, that has been good because there's a lot I have to say, but next time because it's very late now. <laughs> But God has been brought me to, and I don't have to spend, I don't spend one cent because chapter close. Amen. Chapter close. To go on that machine, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't afford it. So God is working, and he's still working. So I'm just asking you to pray for him because the doctors and the nurses, and his, when I said, to the nurse, to the doctor, I said, then doctor, if it's stage four, how come I'm not dying? <laughs> and the doctor said, well, give thanks because you're not dead. 
So, and they want me, they want, they wanted me to do the um, chemotherapy, and they said, that can be not do it, you know, the one day, because we don't really want to do the, the radiotherapy, we don't really want to do it. But, because of my children, then, uh, my two bigger ones, at them, I pressure me to go. So, we just go, but when we say, we go on the machine, we say, God, are you, I work, it's a machine. Yes, are you, I work, it's a machine, so, whatever. The laser um, directed to the to the to the arm um, because people because they said that the um, meanwhile the um, is killing the bad cell, it is damaging the good cell. So I tell God say God just direct to the good cell alone, the bad cell alone, and just cover the bad one, the the good one. Yeah, so God has been so good. Because of the other girl, other ladies, they send them to do more therapy. Something named bracket therapy. They send them to do after they finish the radiation. And thank God, they don't send me to do any. Amen. God has been so good. That's but when they ask me, yes. but when they ask me if how come you're not going to do that, he said, no. You chop that close. Chop that close. <laughs> so I just want to thank. God, and thank you for your prayers, thank you for your call, thank you for all who text, and thank you for your encouragement. And mm -hmm. keep on praying for me because I have two more visits, and then... A chapter no close. Chapter close. Praise the Lord. Hold on there, man. Come back here. Come back here. That's a short hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on. Give some hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
chitini biyoto la bandi yo kasitai lendo katiyo renda la mama ma seketo da ya ma sekete renda come on travel 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 over your request travel travel la baba ba hiyo kasaka damba da to ya ma sekoto Lord, you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it for yourself. Mafia. They can do she be behind the car. Then the fussy of a hood. Let the fatu. They can be the mama shake. Rabba, baba, 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 Somebody travel Somebody travel Somebody travel Oh my prayer request Oh God Yeah Oh Lord we lift up your name and hand We give you glory
Hallelujah. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. And because you were faithful to the end, God says, I am going to bless you. Because you were faithful to the end, God says, I will bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We give you praise. We give you glory, God. We lift you up and exalt you, Holy Father. We magnify your holy name. Hallelujah. For God, it is well. It is well. It is well. Hallelujah. 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 It is well. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we give you worship tonight. We give you praise, Almighty God. We exalt your holy name for your Lord. Lord God, we thank you that you have been with us. We thank you, God, for the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you, God Almighty, for empowering us. Oh, God Almighty, allowing us, Lord Jesus, to be strengthened for the journey. We pray, God, that you will continue. Continue, Lord God Almighty, to hold us together in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight, God, we bring before you the offering that has been collected from your people. We pray, God, that as they has put, oh God, for their hands hands to give so will you god almighty put your forth your hands and bless them almighty god that lord god almighty healing will take place in the name of jesus christ of nazareth deliverance will take place god lord god almighty miracles god almighty will be wrought in their lives because they have honored oh god almighty by blessing you god almighty we pray god for those who are sick i among us lord jesus there's some god almighty who have already gone on their way oh god almighty and they're suffering from different conditions i god as they has placed their requests on the tree God we call upon you in the name of Jesus as you have done it for your children all the time God we know that you will do it for them now tonight God we pray God Almighty that Lord God Almighty each person will receive their blessing and will be able to come back God to testify of your goodness and of your grace we pray God for this young lady who has this heart condition almighty god you are a god who healeth all diseases and you god almighty has given us power and authority god almighty that we should heal our hands and the sick and they shall recover and god as your daughter lay her hands upon her we command healing to take place in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we command that her heart condition will disappear in the name of jesus christ of nazareth heal her god almighty from the crown of her head unto the sole of her feet we pray god that you will bless each and every one bless everyone that stretch forth their hands to give bless everyone god almighty who are not able to give tonight god but have a heart oh god almighty have given we pray that you will bless them bless them god almighty and i god as we give them over to you we ask god that whatever we fail to ask of you tonight fail not to grant it unto us lord as we give her the praise the glory and the honor in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah Praise the Lord. Praise God.
Praise the Lord. We are almost at the end. We have some olive oil. Don't leave them. Praise the Lord. Cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me, Lord. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me, Lord. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me, Lord. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Sing. Cover me, cover me, cover me, young and your blood, Lord. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Me alive, keeping me alive, keeping me alive. It's all over me, and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. It's all over me, and it's keeping me alive. Keep in the alive, keep in the alive, all over me, and it's keep in the alive, Jesus is keep in the alive. That is the evil to keep us from falling from every attack, and when you never start getting from danger seen and unseen. He's my help, he will rescue me. So when the enemy comes, I can blow. And he's a man that cover me under your blood. Give me the wisdom to know when to fight. Fight with it all over your mind. Say it's all over me. And it's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. It's all over me. And it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. Cover me, cover me, cover me under your blood. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Cover me, cover me, cover me under your blood. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Cover me, cover me, cover me under your blood. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Cover me, cover me, cover me under your blood. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Cover me, cover me, cover me under your blood. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Cover me, cover me, cover me under your blood. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Cover me, cover me, cover me under your blood. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for joining us tonight. We know that you were blessed. So we are sending you in the, in the blessings of Almighty God. Greet somebody as you go. In the middle of the night.